Is food best served on a work of art? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. I gotta admit, I don't like doing the dishes. In fact, I hate doing the dishes so much that sometimes I'll eat food out of a paper towel or my hand or my favorite, straight out of the skillet with my little fingies. I, I like dishes, but I do eat off of paper towels a lot so that I don't sure. create dishes. Yes. Uh, but since you're thinking outside of the plate and Ooh. judging by the popular Reddit thread, we want plates and a whole bunch of other bewildered foodies on the internet, many restaurants seem to be on this same train right. of hating to use regular old plates and bowls so much so that they've gone off the deep end of serving food in shoes. Yeah mannequin hands, and even tiny toilets, as we experienced when we went to the toilet restaurant uh, here in LA. Yeah, I remember that. I don't know if it's still open. I do remember it was appropriate because, if I recall correctly, the food tastes like crap. It, it <laughs> yeah. It, it was it, not it, good. It didn't look good, and it didn't taste good. Well, speaking of toilets, the world is flush with yeah. restaurants who refuse it. to do things the normal way, and we're about to experience the best of the worst. It's time for, excuse me waiter, but is my steak being served on the back of a chihuahua? I hoped it would be served on the back of Devon Sawa. Who's Devon Sawa? Come on, 90s heartthrob, on my walls as a teenager. Stevie, I didn't do 90s heartthrobs. Yeah. Well, any, I didn't any, do any, them any, either. I, I didn't even have walls All in right. the 90s. Tell them how it works. Okay, we're gonna be served a nearly identical recreation of a restaurant dish served in an outlandish presentation. Outlandish. Yes. Outlandish. Outlandish. And guess if it is this got served, meaning that it's real, or if it was concocted by the mythical crew, in which case we're gonna say, y'all got, got some, some nerve. nerve. Which means, that fake. it's fake. Yeah. If we guess more than half of these correctly, we win a round of fries for the table to enjoy during Good Mythical More. I mean, we're the only ones at the table. So let's eat. Hello, gentlemen. My name's Trevor. I'm gonna be taking care of Hi, you Hi, Trevor. Today. You work here too, huh? Hello, yeah. I work here and I also moonlight on Hollywood Boulevard as a George Michael impersonator. A, oh, yeah. crap is oh, this. Wait, he's got a headband. First, we've got ribeye. <laughs> then slice, and you're gonna strip it off, and then place it in a hot pot. So for we're about gonna we're gonna take the clothes off a of Barbie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lady Gaga meat Do you suit have any situation. Questions? Let me know and enjoy. This seems this seems a little strange for for us two well, middle aged men to be doing, you know, to be taking the clothes off a of Barbie. Well, we're just. I mean, she's still gonna be clothed. I'm not gonna get her completely naked. I mean, I think I can just take this off. I mean, look at that. She's still decent. She's got quite a... And I've got, looks like I've got some broth here. I don't go to a restaurant to do all of the cooking. I, I don't even do that at home. Well, so th this is not gonna bring me to the yard. You I, know what I'm saying? I'm not sure there's much cooking happening. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think this is real. Because what could you say to bring people in the door? Well, How I, do they market it? I, I don't understand You've never seen Stripper Barbie? That's my favorite version of Barbie. But, th okay, see, so you, you're proving my point here. That's not something a restaurant would say. So I disagree agree? that that's not something a restaurant would say, but well, I also, we have to agree. But I also think that I don't, I think that this is probably fake. But I, I think this, it could happen, but I think it probably didn't happen. All right, Stevie, we're saying y'all got, got some, some nerve, nerve doing this to Barbie. We would never harm Barbie on this show. This dish is perfect for a romantic night out or a drunken night out, I guess, because it was actually created in 2018 as a mm. Valentine's Day special for $45 by a restaurant called Niu Pot in Flushing, New York. They didn't think about the stripping part? I'm You're offended. You're definitely thinking about I the stripping a, part. I am offended <laughs> we have, we that have we a, lost th this round. We have offended Link's moral sensibilities. <laughs> Where's oh, here? Oh, hey, is. hey. No he's sudden back. movements here. This is fried rattlesnake bites in a bed of grass. Uh, uh, just kidding. It won't bite, but you guys should. <laughs> hey, I, I like Travers' style, man. I'm, I'm glad that he's, he's serving he's, us something different. Rattlesnake bites. So now, the first time we ever had rattlesnake, do you remember where it was? On a pizza. At Waverly Place in Carroll. Called Pie Works. works. Pie Works, oh. man. It wasn't. Stevie, it wasn't. did you have a pie so, works this around? This is a big yeah. freaking thing of rattlesnake. Yeah, I'm a little scared. I could see that on the oh, menu. Oh, gosh. That's like the backbone of a snake. I thought it was going to be like yeah, just it, a big like chicken tender. <laughs> it's just literally the spine of the snake. It's mostly bones. Look at that. Oh, just 
Ah, oh. ah. Oh. It doesn't taste bad though. It tastes like chicken though. Mm. Rattlesnakes don't get in grass like that. This makes they're in, sense. They're in to the me. desert. It does make sense. Though. If you're gonna if you're gonna serve rattlesnake, which some places do, you you need to go all the way with the presentation. It feels like it's too much about the thing that's not food. It's putting the prepared food back in its unprepared environment. You think that's a bad idea? Making you think about where snakes come from when you're trying to dissociate a little bit. I think it makes so much sense that it's made up. So we're gonna say, y'all got some nerve. No, that would be, oh, you think it's made up? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, I agree. <laughs> y'all got, got some, some nerve. nerve. Yeah, you're right, we made it up. Okay. Um, it and I I, I, I haven't seen Craig in, in quite some oh, time. Oh, come on, Stevie. It's not Craig. Would I... you make that joke about a dog? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, right, because it's not a reptile. It has feelings. Craig is fine because I make sure to see him whenever I walk by him so that he's not somewhere hiding. You see this back here? This is not some just show piece. No, that's an actual album with these two guys, yours truly and yours truly on it. We sang Lionel Richie, y'all. Rhett Link sang Lionel Richie. We sang two songs. The only way you can get this recreation of some of Lionel's best songs, at least well, one of them's really, really good. From that good. album. Um, is to join the Mythical Society third degree quarterly or annual plan by June 30th, okay? Third degree annual or quarterly, go over to mythicalsociety.com for details. Mm -hmm. Enjoy, super proud of that. Trevor, you call the waiter? Garçon, kind of, kind you of ready a... for the next course? Of course. These are mini beef wellingtons served on a tiny guillotine. And would you prefer that I be the executioner or do you want to carry out the sentence yourself? I would love oh, to do it. Wow. Does it is this does this work? No, it doesn't work at all. I was just kidding. Uh, <laughs> enjoy. I mean, that raises. And if I take the beef wellington. Don't ruin both of them. That's all I gotta I'll say. Because I'm there. very excited about beef wellington. If I <laughs> Death by a thousand cuts. Death by a thousand cuts. Let's see if I can get a nice cross section of this for us here. What what does a guillotine have to do with beef wellington? Uh, m uh like medieval, oh wow, look at Whoa. that. Whoa. That is not easy to do, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. It's sort of like a big meat pie almost, so it feels very old school. Oh my goodness, that is good. Oh, it's, so it's an tender. individual beef wellington. Mm. It's a guillotine. I mean, Dang. I if you just push down on that really hard. I gotta have another bite of that. I definitely think this is a real thing. Don't you think this is real? I hope this is real. Yeah, this is this is real. This, this guy served. served. <laughs> <laughs> the unison is just. I had a vision. Stevie. Yeah, it's real. It's great too. This uh, hard to wrap your head around meal was shared online by Office Dragon 1980. Don't know if you know him. Who says they were served this at the Platinum in Montego Bay? Yeah, but apparently, okay, I guess it, it doesn't work. It's more just a prop, but as you demonstrated, if you force it, it does work. Yeah, they come out of the kitchen like Travers. No, no, no! <laughs> All right, next up, we've got a Turkish donor kebab with lamb, which is usually served like a sandwich on yeah, lavash is. bread, but today it's in a tiki glass. Did you say donor? Yes. Donor kebab. Who, do a, who donated the kebab? No, D O N E R. How do you eat this, Trevor? With a, uh, with however a you fork? Like. You like diggy down in? Yeah, sure. That seems Diggy, diggy, seems diggy. Right. diggy. Seems Can't right. you eat? You've eaten a lot of food. I trust you guys. Enjoy. I guess, I mean, I guess technically the animal that provided the meat is a donor of sorts. This is a bit. This is. You have to go through everything. You got to really to get dig. to the stuff you want. So I don't I don't like lo the logistics of this. No. I does that it. does that mean someone didn't try it? I don't think this is practical at all. Mm. I think this was a cute idea that someone here came up with. I'll go with you on this one. So we're saying y'all got, got some nerve. nerve. Ha. Not true. Mm. Got you because they actually do serve this at Relax Kebab in Poland. On their Facebook page, it also looks like they make stacked kebab Christmas trees, but you know, it was Whoa. a lot easier for us to do this. Good gosh. Relax Kebab, <laughs> come on. You guys are taking it way too seriously. Did someone order a plumber? No, I'm kidding, I'm just a George Michael impersonator. <laughs> but here's some onion rings on an old metal pipe. Wow, I mean, there is something about having a waiter 
like Trevor, who just has yeah. he, he's got charisma. It's the the earring. I just noticed that. Oh, thank that, you. That really. I feel like we're that, friends. That you know? really. <laughs> Buddies sets it off. Are you the kind of uh, waiter that like sits in the booth with you? I'd love to, but there's not a chair here. Right, I mean, right. We hung out exactly. Twice. I know where both of you live. I know the last four digits of your socials. We're buddies, you know. Right, right, we're, right, right, we're right, friends. Right. Yeah. Man, that's a big onion ring. That's a tasty onion ring. And onion rings are just begging to be draped on something. I have to believe this is being done on all types of things. I've seen, I've seen volcano stacks. Now I've seen. Hangy. Here's why I don't think this Hangy is Hangy versions. Onion rings being together in a basket keeps the heat together, and when you bring them up and, it's, and there's this much airflow, it cools them down What if fast. it's a radiator pipe? It's not, it's just a regular pipe. Yeah. So I think that this isn't as practical as it, as it could be. You just want because these to it's be not hot. a good idea doesn't mean that oh. a dumb restaurant doesn't do <clears> it. I just don't. But you're gonna have a bunch of people coming back and saying, onion rings are cold. My onion rings are cold. My onion rings are cold. My onion rings are cold. So a restaurant may have done this like for a week, but then they, they would say that, that you got served. All right, Rhett, I'll go with you. Y'all got, got some nerve, because they're cold. These onion rings served on a metal pipe were created by mythical chef yes! Josh's mortal enemy, Gordon Ramsay, at his restaurant Maze Grill in no! London. <laughs> Well, yeah. you know what? We already know that Gordon. I mean, See, Go man? Gordon's, ma he's making mistakes. I told you. They're Gordon's begging. making mistakes left and right. He's making culinary mistakes left and right. And as Josh is pointing out, did you see that grilled cheese? But Rhett, did you see that grilled cheese? Rhett, you made a mistake, and I went along with it. Yeah. Okay, we, can't, we don't get our fries now, but at least we got onion rings. <laughs> so we have some sandwiches here, and Howdy, partners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ready hey, for Trevor. some barbecue on the bayou? Well, it's a little pulled pork sandwich without a little fire in the whole sauce. Just say when. Oh, oh. Yeah, aim at the, aim at the sandwich. You good? <laughs> not, at my, not at my crotch. Trevor, could you uh, hit me one more time? I'm gonna leave. It's hard to dual wield them sometimes. <laughs> good gosh. Oh gosh, only only a little bit on the chair that time. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no casualties? Okay. All right, enjoy. Just a little bit on the chair. Oh, and that's hot sauce too, not barbecue sauce. Now, of course, in order to determine if this is a real thing, we have to eat some of it. <laughs> right? Is that how this works? <laughs> now, that was fun, but you got sauce slinging everywhere. I mean, if you're at if you're at a place where like you're already wearing like a hazmat suit, <laughs> this may work, but like Boy, we got a lot of cleaning up to do that you can't see. Look at that right there. I know, man. It's starting to dry. I think that's going to be permanent well, on Morgan, the, Morgan on is our not going to be happy about this. Okay. I um, think it makes it taste better, though. Well, yeah. The fun. The, the fun was injected into this. You know, I feel like it tastes fun. You've even got barbecue or hot sauce on your glasses. Seriously? Yeah, on your glasses. Uh, I think this is real, and you're going to have to go with me on this because you've been wrong too many times. Hey, you were wrong the first round. So we're saying, this, this got, got served. served. You agree anyway. The fire in the hole sauce served by crocodile water pestle is really dangerous for the eyeballs, but also it's fake, we made it up, ha ha. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Rhett. <laughs> yeah, Dang it. yeah, it's too messy. It's you didn't just- win the round of fries, sadly. No, no round of fries. But. I could just sit back here and I'll eat them. Oh, is that what's happening? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm, I'm actually- It's a big round of fries. I'm actually a little bit happy about that. A tire that. full of fries. He makes everything seem fun. Makes everything, everything seem fun. enjoyable. Everything is fun when you're a George Michael impersonator on Hollywood Boulevard. Right, yeah. we'll I get it. We'll see you there tonight, man. Okay. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Anna in the UK. I'm walking alongside the River Mersey by Liverpool. This says bean, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, I like to know about the surroundings. <laughs> I like to be well oriented. <laughs> Click the top link to it's watch cool to us. Thought of. Guess what pineapple has been soaking in during a mythical moor? And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. To get the Rhett and Link Sing Lionel vinyl release, join third degree quarterly or annual by June 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.